you know, we still have the idea that we have family farmers out here and they care about the quality of the land for future generations. And right around here, these brethren people in the Dallas uh, center area, uh, a lot of them have got those ethics and have those concerns. But <clears throat> generally what we have, I think, is absentee. I mean, we have a lot of absentee landowners. They've got managers. They're looking for checks. Uh, they're not seeing the land, they're not aware of the practices. You think that with all the money that is being made off this land, that there would be more of a sense of, well, maybe we ought to keep it in good health. Maybe we can afford not to plow up so much, but it seems to go the other way, plowing everything and tearing out conservation practices. The, the emphasis in our legislature is on everything being volunteer. Uh, if we had family farmers like we did in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, that would work. Uh, you know, some incentives, some financial incentives may would help that. It, they have helped in the past. But the current situation, I think, is such that you will see continuing and, and worsening water quality problems unless there are rules. And not, we have rules, but, but rules that are actually enforced. We have rules, but they're enforced. So we have um, <clears throat> over-application of nitrogen, over-application of phosphorus. We have t t way too much soil erosion. Uh, and um, the, the river gives you the evidence that that's happening in the watershed. always been interested in wildlife. I like to fish, I like to paddle, I like to hunt. And uh, so, you know, it's just kind of a little piece of heaven here.